Hey, how's it going? I'm Lucas. And I'm Gotham. Recently, we were asked to stay home from work because of COVID-19. So we packed up all the tools we normally have in the office and brought them home. Yep. We've been working on these little hand washing timers when we were at the office and even at home to just nudge ourselves to wash our hands for the appropriate 20 seconds. When you wash your hands for 20 seconds, it gives the soap enough time to like just absolutely eviscerate the coronavirus. So it's critical to you know keep scrubbing for that 20 seconds. Yep. And it's hard to remember unless you sing a song like happy birthday. So we thought we'd make this timer as just like a little nudge to wash your hands for 20 seconds. Yeah, we made a few different types of these timers using a variety of different parts. Um, but we're making the plans available for a super simple one that you can put together without any other tools besides scissors and tape. And if you've never done anything with an Arduino before, this is actually a pretty good project to start from. And from here, there's a million other things you can do with an Arduino. So it could keep you entertained for however many days we're stuck at home. Yeah. If you want to check out some of the technical details, they're in the blog post in the description. Um, and then right now we're going to demo uh, the actual hand wash timer. And then after that, uh, we'll just go into some of the tutorials for how to put it together. And then also compile some of the code. Cool. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye. So first you turn on the sink and as soon as the ultrasonic sensor detects your hands in front of it, it will start to count down. So use this time to rinse and scrub your hands as much as you can. And you should uh, keep scrubbing until you see the timer gets done. And when that happens, just, you know, rinse, turn off the sink and the timer will reset for the next person. So to start out, let's go over all the parts we'll need to make this little hand wash timer. First things first is our post-it note. As you can see, we've already uh, cut it out and ri written all the numbers as well as a little label on top so people know that it's a hand wash timer. Um, and we cut out a little space so it can fit nicely right over our servo, as you can see right here. And we just use, again, we just use a little post-it in this case. Um, next thing we'll need is an Arduino. In this case, we're using an Arduino Uno. You can use whichever one uh, you'd like. You can see right here. The next thing is an ultrasonic sensor. So the ultrasonic sensor measures distance. And we've done some pretty clever stuff in the software just to make sure that um, it works for the scenario that we're giving it. Um, next thing is this little piece of construction paper that we've cut out to uh, make our dial hand. So that'll fit right in the center and then just kind of count up. Uh, count up as we're going. Next thing is our servo horn. That's what fits onto the servo. Here's our micro gear servo. It's a uh, pretty weak servo, but it'll do the job that we need it to do, which is just move the hand up. Um, finally, we have our uh, female to male, four female to ma male wires. Um, it, one end has these little silver prongs, the other doesn't. And then we have three male to male wires. They both have the little sil silver prongs at the end. Okay, awesome. Let's get started by wiring the whole thing up. So we'll move all of our hardware bits over here. And we'll start, let's start with the servo. Okay, so we're going to take our three male to male wires, set these aside for, for now. Um, and we'll start by wiring up the ground side. So we'll stick one of these cables into here. Well, let's stick all of them in at once so it's easier for us. And so it doesn't really matter uh, which color connects to which because we're just trying to make an electrical connection from the servo to the Arduino. Um, so our ground wire on the servo is the brown one that connects here to the orange one that we have. Um, and we'll stick that into our ground connection. And then the next thing we'll do is connect the, the voltage pin on the servo, and that one's the red cable, or sorry, the red wire, and that's connected to the yellow cable on here. So I'll put that into VIN. Next and last one is our signal pin. So it's the orange cable coming from the Arduino, or sorry, the orange cable coming from the servo, connected to the green pin. And then on our diagram, let's reference that we have that connected to pin seven on the digital side. So we'll look for pin seven, as you can see right here. We'll connect that. 
Okay, awesome. So we have our servo all wired up. And then the next thing we'll do is connect our ultrasonic sensor. So the ultrasonic sensor has um, all these labels written on it uh, so you can actually tell which prongs go to uh, their respective pin on the Arduino. Um, we'll connect all the male, uh, sorry, the uh, female ends on this side, um, the ones with the prongs to the sensor. Let's see, so we'll connect VCC uh, to our red one and then just connect them all at once. Again, it really doesn't matter which color, just as long as you can keep track of um, what you're connecting to. Something we've realized as well is that these sensor, the ultrasonic sensors tend to um, slip out of the connector. So make sure that that connection is nice and snug. Okay. So we'll start with connecting our VCC pin to our five volt right here on the Arduino. Uh, and if you're having a hard time keeping track of uh, w uh, which wires I'm connecting to, just reference the uh, fritzing diagram in the blog post. Uh, second pin is the trigger pin, and that one is our orange wire right here, and that's connected to pin 9. Like so. The next pin is our echo pin that's connected to pin 10. And then finally, our green pin is connected to ground. So we'll connect that right over here. Awesome, so we have the whole thing wired up now, as you can see, our ultrasonic sensor is connected, as well as our servo. So let's start putting some of the hardware together. Um, first thing we'll do is let's stick the post-it note onto the servo, like so. Um, and we're actually gonna go ahead and tape it. As you can see, we, uh, we put some tape on it from before, but I'll go ahead and just apply another piece of tape. Stick that on here. And just like that, we'll affix it to the back of the servo. Cool. And then the next thing we're going to do is put this little um, timer hand onto our servo horn. That's what goes onto the servo. Um, and normally we use some hot glue, but we figure that more people will have scotch tape at home. So we'll just use some scotch tape. There we go. We can kind of just wrap it around there. Like so. Super, okay. And then before we put it onto our servo, or before we put it on permanently, we'll uh, just stick it on and then rotate it all the way to the left so it's at, or counterclockwise, so it's at its most counterclockwise position. We'll take it off and then stick it so that it points to the 20. Great, so as you can see, you've put together all the hardware for this little hand wash timer. And then something we've gone ahead and done is actually like stuck it onto the back of the Arduino so that we can prop it up next to the sink but feel free to affix it however. You might uh, find that you wanna stick the ultrasonic sensor near the sink, but maybe put the timer face on your bathroom mirror. Um, it really depends um, however your sink is configured and what, what you think is best for you. Great, so I'm gonna hand it off to Gotham to talk a little bit more about the software and um, how to load that up onto your Arduino. Okay, so once you've got your Arduino plugged into your computer, you're gonna to wanna to download the Arduino IDE. You can either get this off the Arduino website and we'll provide a link to this as well in the guide. So go to this page and pick the right version for your computer, Windows, Mac, or Linux, and um, install that. Once you've installed the Arduino IDE, um, open it and it'll look something like this. And you'll get your first uh, new blank sketch here. So the right thing to do first is just to make sure that the IDE is detecting the board correctly. So we'll go to tools and then board and we want to make sure that we're selected on Arduino slash Genuino Uno. And we're going to always select this one, whether it's the Adafruit, Metro, or the Arduino Uno. Um, and if you have another type of Arduino, obviously, you could uh, look for it here in this list. Um, and then the second thing that's important is to set the serial port. So we'll go down to ports here, still in the tools menu, and uh, make sure that 
the port that's labeled Arduino slash Genuino Uno or Adafruit Metro, depending on what kind of, um, you know, microcontroller you end up getting uh, is selected here. So that's just going to make sure we send our code to the right USB port. So once those two are set, we're going to want to install the libraries that are needed for this uh, timer to run. So we'll go to uh, tools and manage libraries. And this window will come up called the library manager. So it may take a second to uh, update the libraries here. And once it's finished updating, we're going to want to search for three libraries. The first is called Q. So we'll search Q and then scroll down until we see this one, Q by SMFSW. And you can see I've already got it installed here, but if I didn't, I would just hit the install button here and uh, wait for it to uh, fully download and install. Um, the next library we're gonna search for is EWMA. So we'll search and it should be the top one right here. So again, um, you know, the search library and just click install. As you can see, I've already installed this one as well. And the final library is called uh, new ping. So this lets us actually work with the ultrasonic sensor. So we'll search new ping by Tim Eckel here and version 1.9.1. .1, and you can see again, it's installed. So you just hit install again here. So once you've got the libraries installed, you're pretty much almost ready to go. The last step is to uh, paste the code from the uh, Washalot bot guide on Hackster. So we'll just copy that code and then head back to Arduino and just delete everything that's in there and paste. So once we've pasted our code in, we can save it and give it a new name. And now we can just uh, click upload and you'll uh, see your Arduino, the servo sweep back and forth to indicate that you know it's activated. And after this, it's time to install it near your sink.